Good morning, Aquinas. Welcome to the virtual version of the early show with Lucas Sharon and Mackenzie Murphy. We have lots to announce today, so listen in. Mackenzie, can you tell us a bit about what happened this past week? Yes, of course. The girls' soccer team won against Rush Henrietta on Wednesday night. The score was 1-0 with a goal by Emily Silverstein. On Friday night, our football team won against Pittsburgh 42-21. to Our student section looked great, and we even got a special shout-out from Primetime, saying that our students were the winners of the week for the love we showed. Definitely an honor. Wow, congratulations on the 3-0 winning streak for football players. I've also heard that the volleyball players have had some great victories this week. Congrats to the varsity volleyball team as they have started the season 5-0 with huge wins over Greece Arcadia and Bishop Kearney last week. Led by seniors Maddie Granger, Sophie Reitz, uh, Taylor Windheim, and Kylie Verhagen, the ladies are back home at the Wegman Napier Gym this Thursday at 5 p.m. versus EMHCS. Please come out and support the ladies as they continue their quest for a sectional championship. We would love a huge student section on Thursday. Sounds like Aquinas sports are starting strong this year. Speaking of strong beginnings, Miss Barber, would you come up and talk about the upcoming play? Good morning, thank you. Good morning. We have signed up our cast for our fall play, and that means it's time to sign up our crew. So if you are interested in working backstage this fall on our production of Dracula, you should stop by the bulletin board outside my room, which is AC21, that's on the second floor of the Art Center, and you should pick up some forms. There's a calendar and an information form to answer all your questions, and there's also a permission slip, which you would need to return to me by this Thursday. So please get that paperwork back to me by this Thursday. Additionally, separate from our fall play, we are also gearing up to attend NYSTIA this year, the student conference, which is held by the New York State Theater Educators Association. And there's going to be an interest meeting about that tomorrow in the auditorium at 3 p.m. Uh, every year, the NYSTIA committee gets students from across New York State together for a weekend in January full of workshops and master classes with professionals and educators in the theater industry. And it's a wonderful experience. You don't have to be in the plays to go. So anyone who is interested in spending a weekend with us um, in January at a resort, um, it's a lot of fun and a lot of learning about theater. Uh, come to the auditorium tomorrow at 3 p.m. and learn more about it. Thank you. Thank you. I've been hearing some rumors about DECA, but I'd love to know more. Uh, Mr. Skidmore, can you please tell us a little bit about what DECA is and how to get involved? Yes, I can. Um, so DECA is a business club. So if you're interested at all in business, um, it is a way for students to compete against other schools and they can compete in areas like marketing, management, finance, and um, several others. And it is a great opportunity to network, make new connections, and um, have a lot of fun. All right. Thank you so much. Sure. Oh, um, we would also like to say that there is a deck of video that is being sent out to teachers. Yes, uh, please. We would like everyone to show that to their students uh, in Homer. Unless it's going to work right now. Let, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Never mind. Getting to see all my fellow members was absolutely worth the wait. Students in DECA inspire me because they're passionate about everything they do, no matter what career they want to go into. This is what I wanted to do in my life. These are the people I want to be around. DECA made me feel comfortable within myself, and it gave me a lot of friends. It really is a family. DECA is a home of opportunity for anyone looking to boost their career. In DECA, I was able to have my voice be heard and implement real change. From day one in joining DECA, you will build your momentum and gain leadership skills that will carry you through high school, college, and your career. Okay, so here at DECA, we have these competitions. You get to take everything you've learned in the classroom and bring it all together in real world scenarios. And if you do really good, you end up on that stage with DECA glass in your hand. Let's face it, college is expensive, but DECA provides a 
opportunities to receive scholarships. DECA does not need to end after high school. You can take DECA to college and continue to maximize your momentum. No matter what your interest of study is, DECA has something for you. DECA prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs for careers in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management. And we love every second of it. DECA helps you advance your leadership, build your competitive advantage, amplify your impact, and maximize your momentum. From day one, you will create unforgettable memories, build new friendships, find your place, and make a difference. Don't wait. Take the first step and join DECA. <laughs> Get more wants to say a little more. All right, yeah. So this is open till 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. Um, applications are outside room 108. And if you have any additional questions, uh, feel free to contact me. I'm primarily in room 108. Uh, I am Mr. Skidmore. And the deadline for applications is October 1st. So come see me if you got questions. Thanks. All right, thank you. Seniors who are interested in buying a Powder Puff class shirt, please contact Karen Akugwa for pa payment information. Money and sizes are due Tuesday. Also a reminder for underclassmen that the Senior Lounge is only for seniors. Diversity Club is having their first meeting this Thursday. Anyone classes 6 through 12 can join to learn more about different heritage and cultures. We hope to see you there. All right, now that's all we have for you today. If you want to be interviewed on Kumbaya, talk to either me or Lucas, and we will be able to talk about sports events, theater programs and performances, clubs, and more. Thank you so much for tuning in today for the broadcast of The Way Too Early Show with Lucas Sharon and Kenzie Murphy. See you next week. <laughs>